Hey guys, Will here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, last night I was updating the BIOS on my PC and I decided to flash a custom boot and BIOS logo to it. And I uploaded a video of it on Reddit and it absolutely exploded. It got thousands and thousands of views and upvotes and a lot of people asking how they can do it. A lot of people didn't realize that you could even do this. So I thought I'd throw together a quick video for you. I'll quickly show you first what it looked like on my machine so you get an idea of what we're talking about. So as you can see, it's a pretty cool way to be able to customize your PC so it looks exactly the way you want right from the moment you press that power button. So the process to actually do this varies depending on the motherboard that you have. I'm going to be showing you how to do it on an ASUS motherboard simply because that's the motherboard that I have. But um, if you've got a Gigabyte motherboard, you can do it through their Face Wizard software. I believe that MSI has a software package that you can do it as well. Now, if you don't have a proprietary software package available for you to do this, there is still ways that you can do it. I'm not going to cover it in this video simply because it is quite quite risky. It involves sort of unpacking the BIOS flash file and modifying the contents of the file, then repackaging it and flashing it to your BIOS. And obviously, if that goes wrong, things can go very wrong. You can end up bricking your motherboard, stuff like that. So most motherboards these days are pretty easy to recover, but I really don't want to go into that in this video because it's too risky for the scope of this video. But we'll jump in. I'll show you how to do it on an ASUS motherboard. It is actually very, very, very simple. So the first thing you're going to want to do is jump onto the ASUS website and download the correct um, BIOS update for your particular motherboard. So you can see here, I've got a ROG Maximus code, so I simply download the most recent BIOS update for that motherboard, click it and it downloads. And once it's finished downloading, I'll just cancel this because I've already downloaded the file. Once it finishes downloading, what you'll be faced with is a zip file like this. So you'll right click on the zip file and extract it using your um, zip extractor of choice. So I use 7-zip. So you can see here we've got the BIOS file here, so we drag it out. And that's the actual raw BIOS file which we would flash to the motherboard. So we unpack that. We've also got our little PC master race face here, which is our PNG file, which we're going to use for our background. So we, it's very important to make sure that you've got a um, transparent background on the image that you're going to use. The dimensions of the image don't really matter too much because the software will automatically resize it for you. So before we actually get into modifying the BIOS file, you do want to jump into the BIOS on your PC and save any, um, save any settings that you have for overclocking and things like that. Now it's important to, what I do is I take pictures of each screen so that I can go back in later and change it simply because if you save your BIOS to a, um, if you save your overclocking settings to a overclocking profile, even if you extract that to a USB stick, because you've updated your BIOS, it won't let you restore those settings anymore because they're no longer valid for the updated BIOS. So there's a good chance you will have to go back in and set everything up manually. So it's a good idea to go through all of your overclocking settings, take pictures of everything so you know exactly what your settings are if you don't know them off by heart. And then once we finish the process of flashing the BIOS, we'll need to go back in and update everything manually again. So once you've done all that, reboot into your PC, open up your um, ASUS AI suite software Software, which comes with the motherboard. So if you don't have it, you can download it from the um, ASUS website as well. So AI Suite 3, load that up, click on the three bar menu on the left hand side here and click on EZ Update. That will load up and you can see now you can check to see if there's an updated file from the internet. But what we want to do is we want to use the file that we've already downloaded. So we click on the little three dot menu just here, choose the BIOS file that we already downloaded, open it. And then we click on my logo and we choose the logo that we wish to use for our BIOS screen. And you can see here, it goes into the little screen here as a preview. And then we click on update. We follow the prompts on the screen that will flash the update. Now I'm not going to actually do that in front of you now because I've already done it on this motherboard, but it's very, very simple. You just follow the um, on-screen prompts, click update. It'll ask you if you're sure you want to flash. It'll reboot the PC into the BIOS and flash. Everything happens automatically. Then we'll reboot again, go back in and configure all our settings. So it really is that simple. There's just a couple of other little bits and pieces that you might need to do to get it to show up properly inside the BIOS. So I'll show you that quickly now as well. Okay, so once you've reflashed the BIOS and set all of your settings back to how they were before you flashed it, you might find that when you boot into the PC, the boot logo doesn't show up properly or it looks a little bit distorted. The easy way to fix that is to jump across to boot here go down to boot configuration, make sure that boot logo display is set to either auto or full screen, not disabled. 
And then also the other thing you might want to do if it's showing up distorted is jump down to CSM compatibility support and disable launch CSM as well. What that does is that allows the PC to boot with the graphics card fully enabled. So it, it utilizes the full resolution of the display. And it is as simple as that. Once you've done all that, you should be able to just reboot normally, obviously save the changes and you should get your boot logo like so. So that's it guys, a quick and easy way to further customize your PC right from the moment you press that power button. So I hope you found the video interesting and useful. If you have, please do hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification button too so you don't miss the next one. And I also just want to quickly give a shout out to my Patreon page, which I'll link in the description below. I'm getting a lot of questions at the moment online, people wanting help with overclocking and stuff like that. So I've come up with a new way that you guys can contact me directly so that I can help you out with that kind of stuff. So check out the Patreon page for the details on that as well. Thank you very much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.